Hello everyone, Brian and PS4 Trophies. I'm going to show you the location of all 12 stone circles. You'll earn the Stargazer Trophy for completing all the Align the Stars. Now they're going to look like just random rock formations that are out in various locations. However, they're actually constellations, in the shape of constellations rather. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Siwa here, and this is probably the first one everyone's going to reach. And you, uh, once you approach it, you'll discover it, and you'll be given a quest called Bayek's Promise. Now the quest is actually kind of interesting. It has a good payoff at the end. I'm not going to spoil that, but we're going to interact with the stars, uh, the stone circle here, and we are going to complete the first constellation puzzle. So when you interact with it, you'll be given the constellation. You'll see the constellation there in the rock formation. Now what you need to do is match that constellation up in the sky. So you're gonna have to use your left stick to, to navigate around the sky and then you can rotate with your right stick and then find the constellation in the sky, press your X button, match it up, and you've completed your first of 12 stone circles. So let's go to the isolated desert. There's going to be one here. This is on the far northwest corner of it. Another line the stars location. Zoom in here on the map. So again, just uh, go over and approach it. This one's actually high up on the cliff side. You're going to have to climb up here to get to the location. Once you get near a location, it'll appear on your map. But we got another. This is the goatfish stone circle. I have no idea what a goatfish looks like, but I feel like we're about to find out. So there you go, there's the constellation. Now I've edited this out because watching me spin around the night sky for a minute is, well, not very exciting. So there's its final resting place. Now there is also another payout to this at the end. Uh, once you've completed this, it helps you solve a mystery at the Sphinx. I'm not gonna spoil anything on that, but I do have a separate video on that as well. Now we're gonna go to the Katara Depression, just north of the Valley Oasis. There's really not a whole lot in this territory, but there is a stone circle here. So let's go ahead and align the stars here. So Osiris was resurrected and became Lord of the Underworld. All right, so now that we've aligned that, we are going to go to Imit Gnome. Uh, there's actually two uh, Align the Stars locations here. So we're going to go and uh, do this, walk up to it. Now, you may uh, notice if you go to the Sphinx, if you go to the bottom of the Sphinx, there's actually a map there, a, uh, a sand map, and there's rocks placed on there. All those rocks on that map at the bottom of the Sphinx all line up with the locations of the Align the Stars stone circles Duty just a the little tidbit there we must be strong of course that map is not necessarily the scale but uh it will help you find the locations otherwise you can just obviously watch this video you have no problem now we're going to go to the second one in Emmet gnome this one's up on the uh, northern edge of it it's a uh, desert landscape so it's not going to be too difficult for you to to locate these Looks like a big gigantic question mark there. Like love. It could be. I was once like that. So there we go. It's a scorpion after all. The serpent, I guess they call it. Now we're heading number six, the Kakam Gnome. This is actually right kind of in the middle of this island. So now that now that we found that, we're actually going to head back to the isolated desert. Uh, we did one in the top northwest corner. Now we're on the southern eastern edge of the map. There is no rhyme or reason to the order of these. Of course, beware. Some of these are in higher level zones. Uh, this might be something you want to save really towards the end of your uh, your game. There's really no benefit to do it early. 
looks like a big uh, wishbone here. This one's a little hard to see in the sky. All right, so we're gonna head to Fium. This area is probably my favorite area in the game, the Fium and the Fium Oasis combined. Uh, there's two of them in this location, uh, one on the eastern side, and then there's gonna be another one on the western side, uh, both along the, the lake, or right off the lake, rather. Why do people die? We are not gods. Alright, so as promised, we are staying in Fium. We're heading over to the western edge here. Not too far from the uh, hippopotamus lair. And we're going to walk through the mud here, have to change our boots probably after we get out of here. And this look, kind of looks like a lazy M. The letter M. This one's a little That's faint all. in the sky as you well. I'm going to just look up high for that one. Speaking of the hippos, there's one. Alright, so now we're going to head to the White Desert Oasis. This is on the, along the edge of the largest lake of, of two in this area. and Egyptians do not hate each other. All right, so now we're going to go to Ueb Nome. There's actually two in this area. The first, uh, right off the fast travel point there. That eagle is just to the right of the big hippo, if you're looking for it in the sky. So heading over to the east of that previous location, not too far, just a few hundred meters away. And this is going to be the final one, number 12. Now you will get the Stargazer Trophy uh, after finding this one. However, uh, you're actually not going to be done with the quest. So while you get the trophy, you do still want to complete scales. the quest. Uh, the quest is going to take you to the back to the first one in Siwa. So just go back to the stone circle in Siwa, and uh, you will then complete the quest. Now, I promise that there's a pretty good payoff. I hope that is the case. All right, so as soon as you stand up, you're going to get a quest update, uh, and you're going to get the Stargazer one. trophy. Again, head back to the Stone Circle and Siwa, complete the quest. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button, and of course, subscribe.